You did it again. Go and ruin a beautiful party. A beautiful party just because you are jealous disposition. Well, I can't help it. You were dancing with Hillary. Now, why should you be jealous of that? Because she's the girl of my dreams, Hillary. Ah, stop it. Why break up a party because I dance with her? I don't mind, though, bud. I don't mind. You don't mind? No, bud. You can have Hillary. Why? What? What, what happened? I found out today at the party that her father's a very, very wealthy man, and that makes Hillary a very, very wealthy girl. So and what? I don't want to marry no wealthy girl. You don't want to marry a wealthy girl? Uh-uh. uh uh Why not? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Why not? She's apt to run away. Well, a uh, poor girl's apt to run away, too. But who cares? Who cares? <laughs> and ask you for a date. <laughs> well, I've got some great news for you. What is it? Bachigaloop is installing a television set in our room. On approval. Oh, goody. And now I can watch all my quiz programs. Oh, you like quiz programs? Oh, I love quiz Good. programs, Abbott. I want to tell you something about my brother. Because it's very important. That's why I'm glad we got the television sitting there. Your brother Pat? My brother Pat, for 52 weeks, he's always sitting alongside of his, his television set there. And he's always watching the quiz show because he knows he's going to win. He's waiting for the quiz show to call him up on the telephone and tell him he won. And nothing happened? Nothing happened. Can you imagine that? He knew all the answers, too. He did and knew, knew all the answers? But next week, he's going to have a better chance to win. Why? He's getting a telephone. Ah. <laughs> I was standing at the bottom of the steps. <laughs> Young man, you must learn the law. Here, put your little nose right against this law book. <laughs> Teach you to respect that, buddy. Put it out! I don't know. Oh, this is driving me mad. Oh, what a relief. Thank you, young man. Let's get going, Mr. Fields. Mr. Abbott, sir. Will you tell the court exactly what happened? Well, you see, I was standing on the steps of my uh, rooming house. Wait a minute, Abbott. You're stealing my lines. <laughs> order, order. I'll have a plain salsa. Boom. Your Honor. Your Honor, I appeal. I appeal. I appeal your bald head. A young man, I appeal to you. You don't appeal to me. Oh. Proceed, Mr. Fields. Mr. Abbott. Will you please tell the court, did you see the plaintiff here as he came down the street? Yes, and he was walking very unsteady. I object, Your Honor. Sit down. Quiet, Mr. Reynolds. You'll have your chance later. Continue, Mr. Fields. Mr. Abbott, your implication definitely and conclusively signifies that this plaintiff was inebriated. Now, sir, do you have any relevant pertinent or correct Just this a minute, Mr. Fields. What are you trying to do? Confuse the court? <laughs> I want you to use words like if, and, and, but. If, and, and, but. I'm not trying to... Some bubble gum. <laughs> oh. Will you shut up? Chew your bubble gum and keep quiet. Continue, Mr. Fields. <laughs> now, Mr. Rett, is there anyone else who is now present in this courtroom who saw exactly what took place? Uh, yes. Those three girls were eyewitnesses. Uh. <laughs> How did that you thing you get in here? <laughs> Your Honor, Mr. Bud Abbott was testifying. Uh, we've heard enough from you, Mr. Abbott. Uh, let's hear what Mr. Costello has to say. Okay. Lou Costello. Now? Now's your chance. Now I'm going to talk? Go ahead. Go, Go ahead, ahead, Mr. Costello, please. I tell him what you... That's it. <sighs> well? Um... I told him about the... What I told you. Mr. Uh, Costello. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm going to tell him now. You see? I was standing on the... Um... Yes? Okay. Yes? Huh? Steps. Steps? Steps! 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 No. Yeah, I'm on. Yes. I was standing on the bottom of the steps. Yes. When, uh. Hello. That man shot that girl over there. No. I mean, that girl shot him over there. No. Who he, shot him? No. Somebody was shot. Just a minute. No. Nobody. Nobody Please. in this courtroom was shot. Mr. He's loaded. No. Mr. Fields, will you please carry 
carry on with this case. All right, we'll straighten it out very simply. Mr. Bud Abbott, sir. Yes. You claim that you and these three ladies saw this man, this plaintiff, staggering down the street, and he bumped into Mr. Lou Costello. Is that right? I'm positive. You're positive? He's positive, positive, positive. You're positive? I'm positive. He's positive, positive, positive. He's positive. He's positive. He's positive, positive, positive. He's positive. He's positive, positive, positive. He's positive. He's positive. He's positive. He's positive. Go on with it. Why, of course, Your Honor. Miss Rabble, will you please reenact this accident for the judge? With pleasure. Why, here. Um, Mr. Costello, please come down here. Now, uh, right over here. Now, Mr. Costello was standing uh, about like that, minding his own business, mind you, when this rubber nose push over here came along and pushed him like that. They choked him like that! I'm a officer! What do you do? Do you realize what you're doing? Ma, how dare you? Get! How dare you mistreat this poor little man? Yeah, I was not choked, Your Honor. Would you care to show me just how the accident occurred, Mr. Costello? Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, pushed me like this! <laughs> I shouldn't have let that judge sentence you as he wanted to. Is that so? Well, yeah. I got news for you, Bud Abbott. Yeah. I want to tell you, you tell me what to do, Hillary Brook tells me what to do, City Fierce tells me what to do, Mike uh, the Cop is trying to do, he's trying uh, to run me in, and the judge don't like me, my face, don't, and everybody's making me mad. And, and I want to tell you something else. Hillary was supposed to bring in the witness. Now, don't she was me, supposed to say that the guy was coming down and went like this and fell. Uh, don't Hillary me. Brook is the one that got everybody all mixed up. Now, don't blame it on Hillary. I'll blame it on Hillary. Well, don't do it. And if I ever see Hillary, I'll tell her right to her face. Uh, I'll say, Hillary, if I ever, if I ever, Hillary, if I ever, positive, positive, she's positive, she's positive, she's positive, positive, positive. Just go. Stop that, Lou. You How should you be happy today. She's pretty good. Pretty good. You know, she has everybody's name on that list but her own. Look, on that card, never yeah. mind that. Look, I'd like to get her name. Aren't you interested in this? What's that? That your all expenses paid trip to Las Vegas. That you won on the quiz program. Ah, is this the, the expense sure. trip that we won on the quiz? Sure. Oh, boy, we're going to go to Las Vegas. Yeah. i tell you what we do, bud. Right. Well, you say you and I take Hillary Brooke along with us. Not a bad idea. I, I think we owe her a vacation. That's a very Because she's a lovely girl. Sure. She can watch over us, too. That's right. Now, I want you to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time because I got money and I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet mad. I'll, I'll bet for you. I'll bet for Hillary. And I'll give you his money. You can have a good time. You take Hillary to don't dinner. Away with I'm, I'm loaded. I'm going to bet mad you with got, my money. You got money? I wouldn't talk like that if I didn't have money. I'm loaded like that. Yeah. I got a California bankroll. Okay. A California bankroll. Yeah. Yeah, that's two one dollar bills wrapped around a orange. <laughs> I'd like to have my driver's license transferred, Sugar Plum. It'll be a pleasure. Where are you from? Why, Atlanta, Georgia, huh, child? Well, you just take this application blank over to window five and they'll fix you up. Oh, thank you, sweetie pie. Oh, excuse me, Sugar Dumpling. Oh, I'm sure Sugar Dumpling will excuse you, and so will I. Oh. Thank you, Porky Pig. <laughs> Porky Pig? Uh, where'd you go? Huh? Oh, there you are. Yeah. What are you wearing glasses for, mister? Uh, doctor's orders. Well, where can I get this this uh, driver's license? Uh, the clerk right behind the desk. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no. Oh, here, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Well, I see you passed everything but your eye test. Yes, sir. Uh, mister, did you pass your driver's test? Well, well, I was driving. A car cut right in front of me, so I went over the sidewalk, down, down uh, in the jewelry store, down eight steps in a, into the basement. Pretty good driving, huh? All right, I'll say so. All right, now for your eye test. Look at the chart on the wall. What is the first letter on the top line? You mean the, the, the first letter on the top line? Yes, tell me. You. You? That's correct. Here's your license. Yeah, no, here, here it is, right here. 
Mister, the, the door's over this way. Who did? Why don't you look where you're going? I hit you, didn't I? Next, please. Here you are, sir. Oh, not you, please. My partner, Lou Costello, wants a driver's license. Here you are. Oh. Lou Costello, huh? That's right. Born? There's some doubt about that. Oh, what do you mean, was I born? Answer the question. Sir, I was, what do you think I was hatched? What state? That state. Bad. Will you answer the man's question? New Jersey, New Jersey. What kind of question is he? I want to ride the car, that's all. Huh? Eyes. Huh? Eyes. Eyes. Yeah, I got eyes. I got a couple of eyes. I got better eyes than the other guy that was here with See, I got Be sensible. Just answer the question. I got two like everybody That's else. All. Have you ever driven a car? Uh, I had a car. <laughs> Admiral What was the name of it? I, I remember the, the, the last two letters was like Ack. Hmm? Ack? A-C? Ack? Never heard of a car with that name. Look, uh, why did it start with uh, a T? No, it started with gas. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I was called a maniac. Maniac? Yeah, because every time I went down the, down the street, people would say, here comes that maniac. Do you know anything about the driving rules? That's important. Well, certainly he does. Oh, sure, yeah. I know a few things about it. Now, when you see a woman driving ahead, what do you do? Start praying. <laughs> the rules say you must always give a woman half the road. That's a good idea. If you only knew what half of the road they'd want. In good shape. All highways are divided, Mr. Costello. Do you know what the white line in the middle of the road is for? <laughs> Tell him. Do I know what that white line in the middle of the road... <laughs> Tell him, man. That's for motorcycles. Uh, you got your license blank. Yeah, yeah, sure. I just gave it to you. There it is. Oh, there oh. it is. Right there, I gave it to you. Oh. Have you signed it? Yeah. Mm, well, I'll have to sign it, too, to make it legal. Okay. Why, this is awful. I should never have signed this. Well, what's the matter with that? It's the wrong blank. What do you mean? Why, Maybe. you and I are married. <laughs> what about you and I are married? The, the marriage license. I got to the wrong girl over the street. Look, I don't want to be married to you. Well, I don't want to be married to you. 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 I don't want to be married to each other. I want a divorce. <laughs>